What do you do with this? The magnetic rock block. Boom. The postscript here to my rock form review. Magnetic rock block. Hey, how are you doing today? I'm Alan Carl, World Rider, and thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel, World Rider TV. So listen, let's get rid of the shades. Let's get right down to business. Now, you know, my channel's usually about traveling all over the world, riding a motorcycle, and actually kind of lately since the pandemic, riding a bicycle. I got a new e-bike but we'll get more into that later. I don't normally do many reviews on this channel, but uh, occasionally I find I'm inspired to do. You know, traveling for the last many years, over 100,000 miles through 80, more than 80 countries, I put a lot of gear through the punches, you know, a lot of wear and tear. And there are things that I'm very passionate about that I use that sometimes you deserve to know about and why I use them. Then there are other things that I'm curious about. So I will buy and see, can this suit my needs? And every once in a while, I'll bring some products to your attention and we, we can chat about them and whether I like them or not. One thing I can tell you is that when I do like something, I like it a lot. And when I don't, there are good reasons and that will hopefully make you uh, easier to find a decision and what might be best for your needs. So today, you know, since we're all carrying around smartphones, you know, there's one thing that most of us always need, and that is a case to protect these thousand plus dollar devices. And if you're a motorcycle rider or a bike rider, you also maybe want to have a way you can mount it to your bike so that you can use it for your navigation. So we're gonna talk today about two products built by uh, a company called Rockform. Now Rockform is uh, in Orange County, California, not far from me, and, and it's actually uh, started by um, a guy that used to have a motorcycle-related company called Two Brothers, and they made exhaust and other kinds of products. But this is his new gig. Now one thing I should also say, most of the times when I am reviewing products, or when I'm using products, I'm buying them. Now, if they're given to me, I usually request them, and maybe sometimes they might give me a discount. Now, in case of Rockform, I bought this product, and you'll really get my unbiased review. If at the end of the day, you like any of the products I show you from Rockform, they did offer me a discount for 25%. I'll share with you at the end of the review here. And if you wanna buy anything, you can use that code and you'll get 25% off. No, there's no affiliate revenue for me at all in that. This is a pure, honest review. Okay, so let's get right into it. This is the first thing, the rock form case, okay? They call it Beyond Protection. So really, really nice packaging. I've actually been using this product for a couple months now. I really wanted to test it out to make sure I knew what I was talking about and if there were any great things I loved about it or things I just hated about it, I'd be very well experienced, not just pulling it right out of the box. But I repackaged it for the sake of the review. So this is the Rockform iPhone 12 Pro case. As you can see, it comes with a tether. If you like something, uh, somebody likes to have a tether, there is a nice little tether that it comes with. Um, and it comes in two versions. There's they call the rugged mount is one, and the rugged mount is totally solid black. And then they have the crystal uh, case, which is this one, which actually has this you know high tension um, kind of plastic material here. So at least you can still see part of that. You know, if you bought a colored phone, mine's this kind of whatever the blue calls that Apple is, and it's really tight. It fits in there and it's got some solid protection. The corners are really good. But what makes the Rockform uh, smartphone cases so unique, there are actually two things. The first thing is these magnets, okay? There are two magnets in the back. There is a, a really a large magnet at the bottom, and then there's this one magnet that fits into a little plug here. And we're gonna talk about that in a little bit. But what's so cool about those magnets is I'm sitting under my umbrella in the backyard. Isn't, isn't it nice and green? Although we don't really have sunshine today. But sometimes I might be out here just hanging out and I want to do a quick Instagram live. 
Facebook Live. I could put that right there and, and, and talk, but I'm, I'm filming uh, this YouTube review here on, uh, on my DSLR. I like to use it sometimes in the kitchen, put it on the microwave, put it on the refrigerator, FaceTiming with friends, looking through recipes, or maybe I'm out in my garage working on one of the bikes or something there and I just need to access a YouTube video or something like that. These magnets make it perfect for hands-free viewing of this phone. So I really like the fact that there are these two magnets that are very strong, allow me to use this phone hands-free. The other thing that is unique to Rockform is this um, mounting system. Now this is there and where I find a problem with this case and this entire system. So let's kind of get into it. Okay, so you saw the case that has the two magnets. I chose the crystal version so you can see the phone, my blue color. So Rockform offers several different kinds of mounts, okay? Uh, for bicycles, motorcycles, and they even have some other peripheral kind of products like for golf and things like that, but <laughs> golf, are you kidding? Okay, so Rockform boasts this cool, very trick mounting system. It's not unlike Quadlock if you've seen any of their products, but it's their own system that allows you to uh, mount this case with your phone to the handlebars of a bicycle, or a motorcycle. I'm gonna show you the Rockform Sport Series mount for bicycles here in just a moment. But here's, here's the thing, here's the catch. This little plug, which is also an incredible magnet, happens to be in the way of using that mounting system. So if you want to use this um, phone as they boast and market it for um, a mount for your bicycle or motorcycle, you gotta take out that magnet. You gotta take out that plug. And let me tell you, it's not easy. You saw how hard I had to work to get this phone on. Now let's see if we can get it off. And then right here is the plug. You can only take the plug off by taking the case off. And the plug comes out just by pushing from the outside to in. Now the trouble then becomes, what do you do with this? You put this back in work it in. I think as many times as I'm doing it for this review, I'm breaking this case in a little bit. Now you can see the Apple logo, which means that the twist lock system is available. So it's a quarter twist and lock, and I'll show you that on my bike, and I'll show you that here on the mount in just a second. So, two things I really love about this phone, the magnets and the build quality. The third thing I'm unsure about is this twist locking system, because in order to use it, my table here is ah, magnetic. Wow, that was a hard work to get it off there. I'm just gonna stick it here for now. What do you do with that? I mean, if your phone is so cool because you've got this magnet, you can go hands-free, you can do it in the kitchen, you can put it on your pole, wherever you could do it, but if you now wanna take it and put it on your motorcycle or put it on your bicycle, and they even offer car mounts that attach to your you know, vents and things like that, you, you gotta get rid of, you gotta lose the magnet. And you know what happens? You do what I did. I lost my magnet after testing and riding this thing on my bicycle. So what did I have to do? Yeah, Rockform sells these independently. Now all of their cases come with that plug, but how clever, 20 bucks, 20 bucks. I had to go buy another magnetic plug so I could complete this review. Let's get into the Sport Series bike mount. This is fairly new. I ordered this back in the spring. It was uh, in development. They had uh, discontinued another product, which I think they should have continued with, uh, for bicycles that was similar to their motorcycle mount. Now, they do offer two mounts for bicycles. One mount is a stem mount, so it secures to your, to your stomach, that uh, to your handlebars. Except on my e-bike right here, I don't have that same kind of um, connection that other bikes have, so that option's not available to me. The only other option, which was, again, in development and back-ordered, is this Sport Series mount. Now, on the motorcycle, they also offer two series mount. They have a, a stem mount, similar to the bicycle one, and they have a handlebar mount. That And they're beautiful CNC machine parts. I don't own any of them. This, let's get into it. And you can see it's very nice packaging. I almost wish that they did less fancy packaging because this stuff just gets thrown away uh, and reduce the cost of the product a little bit because this packaging isn't cheap. This bike mount that I'm about to show you 
is $60. This rock form crystal case or the rugged case are $50. You're looking at a $110 investment here if you want to get set up. Um, and by the way, the motorcycle mount, that cool CNC, nice metal sh machine part, that's 120 bucks. Hey, but no matter, if, if this stuff seems to work for you and you wanna get it, at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you a code. You can go and order this on their website and get 25% off. So, here you got the Pro Series bicycle mount. It comes with two parts. So this part is nicely machined, CNC machined, according to their website, it makes for easy, uh, as I said, they've got this quarter turn system. So your your phone, now that I've got the, the magnetic plug out of there, you just position it on there, and with a turn, it's mounted, secure, and all that. To release this, you reverse that, push this little button down here, and turn, and it comes off. Okay, pretty cool. Also, you will see on here, uh, Rockform does give you a it's a Torx, not an Allen wrench. If, if, if this does over time get loose, meaning the handlebar bracket connected with the twist lock turn does get loose, they give you the tool, the Torx wrench to, to do that. Except here's the problem. How does it mount to your handlebars? Yes, it's got this curve and it's got this nice kind of tacky material so that it will not move. It'll try to hold in place. They give you Velcro straps. Can you believe this? Velcro? to a secure a thousand dollar plus phone to your handlebars? Let's, let's look at it. First of all, they give you three sizes of these Velcro straps. This big long one, man, you gotta have pretty big bars for that one. You got a medium sized one, and then this itsy bitsy weeny one for my, my gazelle right there, built in the Netherlands. Love that thing, by the way. I should do a review on that. These Velcro uh, strips do have a kind of a tacky, sticky, it's not really sticky, but it's definitely a non-slip piece of material on the inside of the Velcro that I think that they were hoping would keep this phone mount from moving. But let me tell you for sure, it doesn't work. The way that this works is you thread the Velcro through this handlebar mount and then wrap it through. It's kind of like uh, securing on your backpack. And then you bring it back. Now I'll show it to you on the bike. So essentially, you take the mount, position it where you want on your handlebars, then take that Velcro, wrap it around till you come to the other side, thread it through the receiving end, pull it tight, as tight as you can, there's the problem, pull it tight and then bring the Velcro around to hold it in place. But here you can see that it's not very, very secure. And this is the problem. I've been riding with this mount and this case for a couple months now. And I, I, I will admit on several occasions, I have had a FaceTime call with friends while I'm on my evening sunset bicycle ride. But of course, I'm not doing this in traffic. I'm on a back road and being very careful. But no matter what, slowly as this is mounted, the phone starts to tilt down to at one point, I can't see it it's way below. And certainly the person I was FaceTiming couldn't see it either. Even on very smooth roads, just the natural bump and terrain of a pavement over time will cause your Velcro to loosen and your phone to tilt so you can see it no more. And that's a problem. I really wanted to like this product, but so here's the problem. As I'm riding, it just slowly slips. So it's not secure. It doesn't appear it's gonna fall off. So when I say it's not secure, it doesn't stay in one place. So if you're navigating or you're doing whatever, you gotta constantly be pushing the phone. How good is that if you've gotta constantly be taking your eyes off the road, moving and positioning your phone so you can see it? Not very good. On top of that, anytime you wanna use the phone, if you happen to be a fan like I am of the dual magnets to give it secure, you gotta take this out. Cause here's the stick. If you wanna use this phone and just get rid of the plug and only have one magnet and you wanna use it for such as putting it up on you know, this umbrella uh, pole, you can see without the plug, every time I put it on there, it almost falls off. And the phone just falls, goes upside down. Not very secure. Look, I'll do it again. Boom. Doesn't, doesn't stand up straight. Okay, now let's put the plug back in. Okay, now with the plug back in, I can just throw the case at the umbrella stand and it stays. 
How cool is that? But if I'm gonna wanna use this on my bike, I gotta manhandle and take the case off the phone, put that, take that plug out, and then where do I put it? You know what's gonna happen, just like I told you. I lost it. The same thing goes in the kitchen. If I try to put this on my microwave, boom, it falls. It doesn't fall off, it just, you know, it's like a swinging pendulum. If I put it on my refrigerator, same thing. Good, you really do need to get the balance, both magnets installed. You put the plug in and bam, it stays secure. How cool is that? I guess in short, I can't recommend the Rockform Pro Series bike mount. And frankly, I don't think I can recommend the motorcycle mount either, because no matter what you choose to do, unless you're willing to give up your $20 Rockform magnet and its usefulness, you've got to choose between either using it as a mount for your car, motorcycle, or bicycle, or just as a very durable, strong case with that unique magnet that allows you to pretty much any magnetic surface stick this thing to. Now it's kind of funny because I'll be sometimes in the kitchen and I'll be uh, working and leaning over uh, where my roof, where my dishwasher is and the phone is in my pocket here, all of a sudden, boom, I get, I get connected to my, I get magnetized to my, uh, to my dishwasher. So, it's a good case. Here's what I recommend. Um, I like the case, I like the two magnets. I don't like any of the mounting. So I'm gonna look at this as a standalone case. Forget their twist lock, quarter turn, blah, blah, blah. Useless in my opinion. Unless you're gonna give this up. And right now, rock form, I don't wanna give up my little magnet right here. So, buy the rock form case. You'll get 25% off, but find another solution to mount it to your handlebars, whether it's on your motorcycle or that. Find a solution that does not require you to have a special case to use it with your handlebars. For example, um, on a bicycle, this is a crowdfunded, it was on Kickstarter and Indiegogo, it's called the loop mount. Um, it's a very cool system and it would work perfect with the uh, rock form um, crystal or rugged case. So they give you, it, it, it's a very simple, they call it loop mount, it's, the, it's very simple. They give you some shims that fit in here. This, there's a, an Allen wrench that you use to, to attach it to your handlebars. Once it's attached, you don't need to touch it. And once it's on your handlebars, it's very simple to put the phone on. These two little things pop open, spread apart, you stick your phone in like that, and it's in landscape mode, always landscape. So the, you know, if you happen to like the portrait mode, the loop mount won't provide you that. Uh, they do give you, as I said, all the various different shims to make sure it will adhere to your handlebars. Now for me, unfortunately, I can't use this on my e-bike. Why? Because I have several other things on my handlebars that prevent me from getting this on there because of the fact I can only go landscape mode. However, I'll put a link to this uh, in the description as well. If you've got a lot of real estate on your handlebars, a rock form case with a loop mount could be your best bet. So in summary, Rockform makes very good products. They're high quality, the build quality is good. The unique feature of having those magnets is something that I really love. The mounting system seems good, but if you have to do that, you have to get rid of your magnet. So that's a compromise in my opinion, and that's why I can't recommend it. This is Alan Carl, World Rider. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Rockform Pro Series bicycle mount and the Rockform iPhone 12 Pro crystal case, also available in total black, which they call the Rugged. $49 for this, $60 for the handlebar mount that I don't recommend. If you do want to try it on your own, you can get 25% by inserting the code World Rider on the Rockform website. That's right, you can get 25% either of these at Rockform by entering the code World Rider. If this looks like you could do it, if you don't care about the magnets, you can get the bicycle mount, the motorcycle mount. If you care about the magnets, you can get a very good, cool phone case and find another solution to mount this in your car, your bicycle, or your motorcycle. 
Hey, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you're not subscribed yet, get down there and subscribe. Leave a comment. What case do you recommend? What would you think would be the better solution than a rock form? Let us know. Maybe I'll come back and give another review. Love you. See you on the next one. Whoa, hold on just one minute before I leave. A little epilogue, a little postscript here to my rock form review. Another rock form fail. I'm sorry to report to you, this is very disastrous. As you know, I am a big fan of the rock form case when you use both magnets, which they call, come on, let's look at it, the magnetic rock block. The magnetic rock block. Right now, it's not in here. As I've been filming this review today, I've been taking it in and out, taking the case on and off to show you all the features and functions of the Rockform crystal case, the rugged case, as well as the, oh, the magnetic rot block, and of course the Pro Series bicycle handlebar mount um, for that. So you know you got you got three products here. This one here is 50 bucks. This one here is $60, and this one here is $20. Now, the last time I tried to pop the little magnetic rock block out, the magnetic rock block. Yes, every the last time I tried to pop it out, look what happened. You got it. This piece looks like one of those CRO2, you know, watch batteries, but no, this is the secret sauce. This is the Rockform's secret sauce. This is the magnet. This holds the magnet and allows it to go into its twist lock system. But what happened? So now even if you take extra care and you're gonna be one of those guys that's gonna say, you know what, I'm gonna deal with taking the rock block, magnetic rock block out every time I'm gonna go ride on my bicycle or ride my motorcycle or use a mount in my car or truck, whatever, uh, that you, you keep track of this piece. But now, if you keep pushing it in and out, punching it in and out, they're gonna separate and you could lose one or the other. So, so you may say, oh, I still have it, but whoa, where's the magnet? Here it is. Now I did manage to put it back in, but the next time I did it, the same thing happened. That the magnet came out, but the little twist and turn, the twist lock, stayed in the case. So that's a rock block fail. So I just, quick summary again, is I can recommend, if you like the magnetic features of this, which I do, the build is very good. It gives you good protection for your iPhone. It gives you the ability to still see the color of the iPhone you chose and uh, that nice ability to use hands-free. This is a great case. As far as the Pro Series mount, two things. It requires you to take the rock block magnetic, magnetic rock block off the phone, which is a bit of a hassle because the thing is really good tight grip around your phone. And you then have to twist it on, which is easy enough onto your bike. But then as you're riding the bike, your phone just moves. It, it won't stay where you put it. And how good and how useless is that? So fail that. Now if you do want and you have a stem that's compatible with their other product for the bicycle that allows you to go ahead and uh, have it secure without moving, that's a, maybe an option for you. But you still have to choose. Do you want the magnet or do you not? Rock form? I want the magnetic rock block but I also want the twist lock. I can't have both. So what I'm gonna do is find another mount for my motorcycle and my bicycle. In the meantime, I'm gonna keep my magnetic rock block attached to my phone at all times. What will you do? What's your choice? Do you like the magnetic or do you just like the little twisty track? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what kind of phones you're using and what kind of phone mounts you've tried that might be better than the rock form. My friend Chris swears by his quad lock. He's been using it for three years. He won't have anything else. He won't even look at the rock form. He loves it. What do you use? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe, click the notifications, and uh, look for the next one. It could be from an exotic place around the world, or maybe I got some other kind of cool product, or I'll find even a better mounting system for your bike or your motorcycle. Wherever it is, I'll see you here on the channel. I'm Alan Carl, World Rider, and thank you for tuning in.
this is Alan. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.